Hello everyone, and welcome to this theory recording on methods of analysis, where we will be focusing on the supernode. So what is a supernode? A supernode occurs when a voltage source is connected between two non-reference nodes. In other words, any node not including the ground node. So if we look at the circuit below, we should be able to see that in the circuit we have three nodes. So the first node would be the node of V1. The second node will be the node of V2. And the third node would be the reference node, which is the ground node. So this we know as the reference node. So if you have any voltage sources connected between two non-reference nodes, in other words, between, in this case, node of V1 and V2, then you will have a supernode. And as we can see, we do have a voltage source there, the two volts that's connected between node 1 and node 2. Now, what is the procedure for approaching circuits that have supernodes? Step one, remove the source forming the supernode and any elements connected in parallel to the source. So if we look at the circuit, if we remove the source and anything connected in parallel to it, what's going to happen is we're going to have effectively the following circuit. So the source and the resistor connected in parallel with the source fall away. And what we have remaining is the current source and the 4 ohm resistor. All right. Now, what then typically happens is that the area where the source and any parallel connected elements is uh, removed is then now referred to as a virtual node. And what does this term virtual mean? It means that we treat it as if it was one node, even though we know that it isn't one node, it's two nodes, V1 and V2. But we treat it as if it was one node. Um, and but by doing so, we then sum all the currents going in and out of this virtual node. So we will then say the current going in, we can decide whichever current directions we want. We're going to say the current going in equals current going out plus current going out plus current going out. Right. So let's do this expression. So we're going to say KCL supernode. And the expression will be the current going in is 2 amps is equals to the current going out, the first current, which is going to give us V1 minus 0 over 2 plus this current going out here will be V2 minus 0 over 4 plus the 7. And this would be our first equation. So we ensure that we take out voltage source and any series connected element and then we do a KCL on the virtual node to get our first expression. And the second step is to consider the source forming the supernode and to do a mesh analysis on the voltages to get the voltages on the terminals of the source. So what is the source forming the supernode? That's the two volt source that's connected between terminals V2 and V1. Now if we do a mesh analysis here, we can quite simply say um, it will probably sit as follows. It will be plus minus V1 and that will be plus minus V2. So if we move in that clockwise direction, we're going to say minus V1 minus 2 volts plus V2 gives us 0, which then leads to 
the equation v2 minus v1 is going to give us 2 volts and that will be our second equation. So the benefit to using this analysis method is that you will always notice that your second equation is always a much simpler equation than if you would have not noted that you've got a super uh, node. If you didn't note that you would have had two equations with two unknowns and those two equations would be lengthier equations that you would have to work out. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the course.